Auto Workers Union expanding its strike against major car makers. Workers have now walked out of 38 General Motors and Stellantis parts distribution centers in 20 states. UAW President Sean Fain says Ford was spared additional strikes because the company has met some of the union's demands during negotiations. Instead of targeting more production plants today, the UAW went after centers that distribute parts to car dealer service departments. That could drag consumers into the middle of the fight if dealers end up running short of parts. And this is a strike that's happening locally. One of those parts facilities is here in Milwaukee, where 100 workers joined that strike. Bill Miston joins us live. Bill, the union local says it wants Stellantis, it's Chrysler, to keep the facility here and not move it elsewhere? Yeah, uh, formerly called Chrysler. Uh, workers have been picketing outside of the Stellantis Mopar parts distribution facility going on six hours now, and they say that they intend to continue this until their demands are met. As the clock struck 11, UAW workers struck out, filing out of the parts distribution facility in Bayview and picked up picket signs. We're striking off for our own contract and for equality of the contract that the membership asked for. The roughly 100 workers joining the thousands across the country as the strike expanded to General Motors and Stellantis parts distribution centers including Bayview with an automaking history that goes back 100 years. As historic is the strike, the first time the UAW has striked simultaneously in its history. Let's do this. UAW President Sean Fain shook hands with strikers outside of Detroit Friday. We bargained for the entire working class, and when you create better paying jobs and a better standard of living for all working class people, that's what keeps the economy going. In Milwaukee, the employee lot's empty, the parts facility quiet. He's showing solidarity, that's all. As union leaders gave ground rules for the picket line. But remember the purpose you strike it for is equality in your contracts and for better wages and in for the future and for this plant. The UAW says it wants a fair contract, bargaining that car makers have made huge profits as CEOs get rewarded. The union wants wage increases. And the companies have offered a little over half of what's been asked. Stellantis said it's made a competitive offer Thursday for full-time employees, but said the union hadn't responded. In a statement, Stellantis says, we question whether the union's leadership has ever had an interest in reaching an agreement in a timely manner. Back on the picket line. We're asking the company to stay put. Let us make our future. Let them help us make our future the right way, though. Now, the UAW Local 75 president tells me that uh, members will continue to picket the plant for 12 hours a day and five days a week, and they don't plan on leaving until they get a deal done. Reporting live in Milwaukee, Bill Miston, Fox 6 News. Bill.